Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to use reference and research tools. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have my Word document here, and on this Word document, I'm going to be going over how to look up the definitions of words, as well as synonyms, antonyms, and eventually show you how to translate your entire document or even individual words. Let's get started. So let's say that we see this word here, acclaimed, and it. let's say you don't know what acclaimed means. Well, there's an easy way to figure that out without having to do a Google search on it. And the way that you do that is you go to the Review tab up at the top, and you go to the Insights group, and there's only one button in it, and it's this one. And it says Smart Lookup. Learn more about the text you select by seeing a definition, images, and other results from various online sources. When you click that, the Insights pane will pop up on the right side. From here, you'll see that it's a verb, and it means to praise enthusiastically and publicly. You also see it used in a sentence as well as uh, Wikipedia results and web searches. And these are based off of the Bing search engine. Next, uh, I'm going to show you how to see a list of synonyms. And so anytime you want to see synonyms, you have two options here. You can right click the word and go to synonyms to see a list, or you can actually open the thesaurus. And the way you do that is the review tab proofing group and you click thesaurus right here. Thesaurus is useful because it opens up a whole pane on the right side. It shows you what your word means as well as over here a list of different words that you could choose uh, to switch out. I know I use this if I tend to use the same word over and over in a word document. I'll use the thesaurus here to actually change to a different synonym. And so I'm going to change this from acclaimed to celebrated. The way we do that is we go to celebrated, we click the drop down arrow on the right side, and then we click insert. And now it says celebrated along the left side. I'm going to close the two panes over here by clicking the X's in the top right. And those panes are now closed. Now I'm going to go over translation options, and I'm going to show you how to uh, turn on the mini translator as well as change your translation options. So right here is the review tab and this is the language group. Within the language group you're going to see a translate button right here and if I click this, this will allow me to translate text into a different language by using bilingual dic dictionaries and other online services. So right here, translate. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to choose translation language and if you click that it's going to open up the translation language options dialog box. I currently have from English to Spanish but for this I'm going to actually use French as my example. So I'm going to change this from Spanish and I'm going to choose French right here and I'm going to choose the translate to and I'm going to choose French from this one as well. Alright so it's going from English to French and I click OK. That's the first thing that you need to do whenever you're translating in Word. Next, we're going to turn on the mini translator that I mentioned earlier. That's in the review tab, the language group, and you click the translate button. And I'm going to turn on the mini translator. And this allows you to pause on selected paragraphs for a quick, quick translation. This also works with individual words. When the pop-up box comes up, click yes. Now as I hover over words, let's say I wanted to know what mistake was in French, I could hover over the word mistake and you'll see a transparent box pop up. If you hover over that box, it'll actually become a non-transparent box and tell you exactly what it is. Mistake, and there's the word in French, and you know that it's a noun, and so this gives you a lot of information. Now one other thing we could do is we could actually click the expand button right here so that it opens up the research pane on the right side. The research pane is useful because from here I can see the word that it searched for, in this case mistake, it searched for a translation, and it says translate a word or a sentence, and I can see all of the information based off of the word mistake going into French. Now you, you may notice on your Microsoft Word, if you're following along, that you have a Microsoft Translate option. My computer, however, did not have that, so I wanted to show a workaround on how to get that Translate option. And there is a free service right here in the Insert tab in the Add-ins group from the Microsoft Store. And if you click this, you could actually open this up and search for Translator and the translator will pop up. And this allows you to translate word and sen words and sentences you've chosen in, uh, in a document using Microsoft Translator. You click Add, 
And then you'll see that in your add-ins, which is in the insert tab, add-ins group, this arrow right here, you'll see that the translator option is right here. This will allow you to quickly change words within your document to the uh, translated word. And so you'll see right here, if I select mistake, it'll automatically show me the word for mistake in French. Again, I could change this to any other option. I click on that, and then I can go right here and click insert, and it's going to put that inserted word into the document. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna show you how to close the mini translator and the research pane. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to switch the entire document to another language. The way we do that is we go to the review tab, language group, and you click translate, and you could translate the entire document to French in this case. I click yes, and it's gonna open up a box Keep in mind this is in your default internet browser, and there it is. So if I wanted to email this to somebody, I could copy and paste it into an email, or I could even copy and paste this back into Microsoft Word, and I know that it's English to French, and so that is how we do it. You'll see that you have your English text up at the top, and then we have the uh, French text down here at the bottom. All right. So there we go. So that's a little bit more about how to use translation options within Microsoft Word, as well as how to find the synonyms, antonyms, and uh, dictionary definition for uh, words or paragraphs within your Word document. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and have a great rest of your day.